वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 6.21 सो स्टेटमेंट इज दैट 150 पाउंड मैन सिट्स इन द सेंटर ऑफ बोट व्हिच हैज अ यूनिफॉर्म वेट एंड वेट पर लीनियर फुट ऑफ 3 पाउंड पर फीट डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम बेंडिंग मूवमेंट एक्सर्टेड ऑन द बोट एज्यूम दैट वाटर एक्सर्ट अ यूनिफॉर्म डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड अपवर्ड ऑन द board so you can see from the figure this man is 150 pound that is set in the center and due to this board there is a uniformly distributed load of 3 pounds per feet that is given and it is also stated that water exert a uniform distributed load upward on the board so as a reaction this water exert a uniformly distributed load upward on this board so you have to determine the maximum bending moment so let's start and solve this problem so what we have to find we have to find the maximum bending moment okay so solution so first step is that we will draw the free body diagram so if i draw it on this figure so this man exerts a 150 pound force in the mid you can see this is the mid and due to this board it exert a uniformly distributed load on water and this uniformly distributed load if i represent it like this so this will be like the value of this will be 3 pounds per feet also the water exert uniformly distributed load upward on this board so as we know this all this value but we know this we do not know this and this will be also in pound per feet so what we will do we will first find this x so how we will find you can see this is 3 pounds per feet and this is 1 feet 1 50 pounds and total length of this boat is from here till this end this is 15 feet so if i divide 150 150 pound divide by 15 feet so it will be converted into this this point load will be converted into distributed load and this will be equal to 10 pounds per feet so what we will do now i can represent this 150 pound will be 10 feet and this is 13 feet so it means that total in order to keep it in equilibrium so this x will be equal to 13 feet 13 pound per feet because that is equal to 3 pounds per feet plus this 10 pounds per feet that per feet so this x will be equal to uh, 13 pounds per feet so if i draw again the free body diagram quickly so it will be like this let this will be the middle so this will be equal to 150 pounds there is a uniformly distributed load of 3 pounds per feet and there is upward distributed load that is the reaction of water on this boat will be now equal to 13 pounds per feet if you further simplify it so i will draw it again if you further simplify it now you can see this distributed load is 3 pounds per feet that is acting downward while this 13 pound is acting upward so net force will be equal to 10 pounds per feet and that will be acting upward so i will represent that so this will be equal to this will be equal to 10 pounds per feet that will be upward and there will be a 150 pound force that will be acting in the mid and this distance is 7.5 feet and again this is 
pipe feed. So this is our final diagram and based on this loading we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So, so let's proceed further. Okay. Now if I draw the free body diagram, uh, if I draw if I draw the shear force and bending moment diagram, so what will I will draw a line from here and as well as from here. I will draw a quick shear force diagram. So let shear force diagram in pounds will be this. Now you can see that from this point till this point x is equal to 7.5 you can see there is a distributed load and that is 10 pound per feet so at x is equal to 0 so we will have shear force v is equal to 0 so our first point will lie over here now at x is equal to at x is equal to 7.5 so load is 10 pound so this shear force will be equal to 10 into 7.5 which will be equal to 75 pound and that is upward. So we will locate another point. Let each division is 50. So uh, sorry, uh, third, uh, let each division we take is, uh, let's say this is 50 and this is 100. So it means 75 will be mid. So let this point will be this one. So this is 75 pounds and we will join them as a straight line clear now at this point you can see at midpoint you have uh, of 150 pound man sitting in the center so 150 is downward and 75 is upward so there will 150 no, minus 150 plus 75 will give you minus 75 so it will go down to minus 75 at midpoint so this is minus 75 so definitely it will go down minus 75 okay now the same scenario on this uh, side again you can see from x is greater than 75 and equal to 15 because total is 15 pounds uh, fit so you can see this length is 7 0.5 and the load is 10 pound per feet so the shear force will be equal to minus 70 uh, plus 75 because this force uh, distributed load is upward so this point is minus 75 and this portion will give you plus 75 so minus 75 plus 75 so the shear force will be at this point it will be like this okay so this is your shear force diagram and from this shear force diagram we will draw the bending moment diagram as well. So bending moment will be equal to the unit will be pound into feet. Okay. Now you can see the area under the shear force diagram will give you the bending moment and you can see this is a triangle. So area of triangle is equal to 1 over 2 its height which is 75 and its base which is equal to 7.5 feet that will give you 281 okay at x is equal to 0 moment will be equal to 0 and at x is equal to 7.5 feet so the moment is 1 by 2 into this height which is 75 into base which is 7.5 you can see this base is 7.5 feet and it will give you 281 pound into feet so let this is 200, 100, this is 200, this is 300. So 281 will lie somewhat here. Clear? And this shear force is a line, straight line with, uh, with 1 degree. So shear force will be, uh, bending moment will be second degree curve. And since this slope is upward, so bending moment will be second de degree curve with counterclockwise rotation this will be like that now this point is 281 pounds into feet again this portion is same same triangle so it this portion will also give you 281 but that will be minus 281 because you can see 1 over 2 minus 75 into 7.5 will give you minus 281 
so this 281 plus 281 and this minus 281 will bring it to 0 so we will get another point over here and it will be also a second degree curve with counterclockwise rotation because you can see that the slope is increasing okay so from here you can see that from this diagram uh, bending moment diagram you can see that maximum bending moment is 281 pounds into feet so this is the answer of our question if you are confused with this explanation i can also explain and can give you the equation of shear force and bending moment diagram so we will do it also so again if you can if you want to take the section at x is greater than zero and less are equal to 7.5 it means that you will cut it over here and if you draw the diagram so it will be like this definitely there will be a shear force and there will be external moment and this point is o so this is for x is equal to greater or equal to zero and less or equal to 7.5 so you can see this load was 10 pounds per feet so you can see that by applying equilibrium condition minus v plus this 10 and this let this distance is x minus plus 10 into x is equal to zero so from here shear force is equal to 10 x and bending moment is sum of all moment about point o is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so moment about point o is due to this load and if we convert it into concentrated load so 10 pound into x will give you the moment and the moment will be at a distance of x by 2 so we will write it 10 into x into x by 2 will give you a counterclockwise moment and it will be uh, clockwise moment because you can see this will be acting and it will use clockwise rotation so it will be minus plus this external moment m is equal to 0 so from here you will get the moment will be equal to 10 x square over 2 now this e two equation this and this is valid for this region i will also cut the beam at x is greater or equal to 7.5 and less or equal to 15 feet these are also in feet okay so when you cut it over here so i will draw the free body diagram this is the load and this load is 10 pounds per feet and there is a load of 150 that is acting in the mid that is 7.5 feet and total distance where you cut the section is x so this remaining portion this portion will be x minus 7.5 and again if you cut the beam there will be a shear force and external moment so shear force can be found by using this equilibrium condition so you can see now we have 150 pound force that is acting downward and there is a minus v with this one plus 10 into total distance x is equal to zero so shear force will be equal to 10 x minus 150 clear similarly we can find out the sum of all moment at this point is j about j is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so one moment is due to 150 pound and perpendicular distance is x minus 7.5 so i will write it first 150 into x minus 7.5 and it is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive plus external moment m minus moment due to this load and if this 10 feet is converted into point load so 10 into um, distance x and it will be acting at a distance of x by 2 so i will write it also 10 into x into x by 2 their sum must be equal to 0 so i will write it over here this moment is equal to uh, 
टेन एक्स स्क्वेयर ओवर टू माइनस वन फिफ्टी एक्स टेन एक्स स्क्वेयर दिस टर्म विल बी पॉजिटिव और हेयर दिस विल बी वन फिफ्टी एक्स इट विल माइनस वन फिफ्टी प्लस वन फिफ्टी इंटू सेवन पॉइंट फाइव सो अगेन दिस विल बी इक्वल टू फाइव एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस वन फिफ्टी एक्स प्लस इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई वन फिफ्टी मल्टीप्लाई बाई सेवन पॉइंट फाइव यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई इट सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन now this equation this equation and this shear force equation and bending moment equation is valid for x is equal to this i will also show you that if you plot them you will get this shear force uh, and bending moment diagram so let start with this for x is equal to i will write it over here x is equal to 0 if you put it in this equation so v is equal to 0 for x is equal to 7.5 if you put x is equal to 7.5 it will be 75 so you can see this is 75 so you have to join this point now at this point we have a 150 load minus downward so minus 150 plus 75 will bring it to 75 to this portion and again this portion is valid now for x is greater than Uh, 7.5 and less than 15. So if you put x is equal to uh, 7.15, uh, so this equation v will be equal to zero. So you can see this will be zero and it will be like this. So shear force equation, shear force diagram will be like this. Now we'll move toward bending moment for x is equal to zero. You can put it in this equation. So when you put x is equal to 0 moment will be equal to 0 for x is equal to 7.5 so when you put 7.5 in this equation you will get 281 and you will have to join this because the uh, bending moment will be second degree curve as from this bending moment equation as well but you can also see that shear force is a cause um, A straight line with one degree, so bending moment will be one degree higher, and this it will be like this. The it will be counterclockwise. The rise will be in counterclockwise. Similarly, for x is greater than or equal to seven point five and less or equal to fifteen, if you put x is equal to fifteen in this equation, clear you will get moment will be equal to zero, and you will have to plot this. Uh, this. so it will be like this so your bending moment will be like this i hope you have enjoyed this video i have explained it in both manner uh, and if you have any doubt or uh, any uh, misconcept about this you can ask me in comment section and thank you for watching my channel and uh, do subscribe if you are new to my channel thank you